There was a lot of struggles going on around that time. Um, and I still, again, I didn't recognize I had the m mental illness part of it. I just thought, this is life. <laughs> I gotta keep on keeping on, but I couldn't understand why in my late 30s, early 40s, why am I feeling like I'm 86 years old with a broken body? Why am I exhausted all the time? Sitting down and having just an open and honest conversation about mental health is the biggest step, it's the first step, and it was difficult for me. I've been to therapy. Um, Tell me about your experience in therapy. It's, <laughs> it was amazing, really honest to goodness, but it took me decades. Um, pretty challenging, I think, as a lot of trauma survivors do. Um, you try to pride yourself on the I'm okay. What are the signs and symptoms? What are the things you a, notice? In a red you? flag? Number Personally. one, I didn't notice. <laughs> Everyone says that. Everyone's like, I had no idea it was people around me. 100%. It's the people around you. We sort of program ourselves into this, right? Even our accomplishments as a society, we wear. Our rank, we wear. Who we are, right? So if something happens for us to lose that, it's shameful to us. It's not just a guilty thing, it's a shame thing. And then you did EMDR. Yes. Tell me about that. That stuff is surprisingly amazing. As I sit here now, it's the first time in my entire life I haven't, I like myself, I love myself. It's like huge. deeply love myself. Aww. That is the pivotal piece of healing that I would tell anyone. You have to love yourself. If we, and us can all just help one person get over something or stop one family from having to suffer a loss. This is all worth it.